Well, it's something that the, you know, the West African Boxing Union, the African Boxing Union, and of course the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control need to really look at. They need to do something about that. So you just saw there the bout card, the fights that have gone down, and of course uh, the orders to come. We've got uh, two bouts uh, left tonight. Five fights gone down. Five fights on, gone down. We're going into the sixth bout of the night. The sixth bout of the night, but of course, uh, will be the one that will interest everybody. So surely be a national uh, title fight. Let's take a look at the fights gone down so far. We just saw Lajide Fija Bon Fija B achieving a TKO victory against Dennis the Range and Bat. Absolutely not in the range on, uh, on the fight tonight. And of course, uh, up next is Habib EK. Oladiji uh, up, uh, up against today turning star Oladiji. That is a fight to look out for. National Bantamweight title challenge. Well, of course, uh, it's a surprise when you see a boxer that has um, one fight, one loss, fighting for a national title. But anyway, let's get back into the ring now. It's still the biggest boxing show in Africa. It's the 21st edition of Go TV Boxing Night, the lockdown edition. All fights tonight are sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control. President, Dr. Rafi Ladikos, Secretary, Remia Boderi. It's a flight kite production. Our sixth fight for the night is a 10-round national bantamweight title fight. In the blue corner, Habib Ige Oladeji. In the right corner, Tune, turning, 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 stop, all Lodge Day. I was so hard headed at first. My grandma didn't even believe in me. I kept going though. All I can say is I told you. He's up on it, making his way into the ring now. The turning star. Oh, Lord Jede. The pain and the struggle followed me. My daddy never been there bothered me. And his cold streets made a man of me. Now, this is one weight category that I'm always looking forward to. Bantam weight. You expect a whole lot of uh, pound for pound stuff here. Ten round national bantam weight title fight. The president is here with the belt in the blue corner. He weighed in at 53.8 kilograms. He has had one fight, lost one. Habib. Ige. Oladeji.
in the right corner he weighed in at 53.3 kilograms he's had four fights one three lost one two by knockout Tunde turning 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 stop on Roger Day Our judges are Wahab Martins, Shei George, and Femi Baba Femi, referee Shegu Adesoya. I am Shegu Adesoya, the center referee for this bout. We obey my commands at all times and always protect yourself. Your two seconds have the right to throw in the towel if you are in trouble. Remember, any foul committed will be penalized. Greet yourself at the beginning of the first round and begin the rest of the game. into the first round of this uh, scheduled 10 rounds the national title on the way national uh, the vacant uh, bantamweight national title on the way here Habib Ike Oladeji Ike not taking it easy at all going at his opponent very early in this first round I really uh, don't know what uh, he's uh, trying to uh, prove out there, talking about Lodgedy. Uh, he's defending too much there. He needs to come out and fight. Uh, it does look like he's trying to side up his opponent, but he do not want your opponent to start getting into him. He seems to, he seems to, uh, there, there you have it. Okay, going straight at his opponent. You can't stay in that corner. Lodgedy needs to do something about himself, protect himself and get himself out of the corner. He can't stay in that corner or else it could be an early night of early shot. Could have also be a strategy from Lodgedy to get his man tired out. You know, it's, it's very inexperienced uh, boxer. Only his second fight in professional career. He lost his first fight. That's a surprise. That's a surprise that he's fighting for the national title, by the way. Yeah, absolute surprise. I must agree with you. But then, uh, this uh, Lodgedy has got something inscribed on his trunks there. Both of them wearing similar colored trunks. He's got two pain on there. We want to see him inflict pain on his opponent rather than him being the one uh, to defend against the uh, punches. I think his nickname is uh, Tony Star. Yeah, he's it's, it's called the Tony Star, but you look at the trunks. The pain, yeah. The T pain there. That's a Tony pain. Definitely, Tony pain. Okay. He seems to be the better calculating fighter, but Needs to land the punches in. Good combination there coming from uh, Tony Star. You could see uh, uh, Ige, who almost got himself into a wrong punch there. He could have been a soccer one. Now, this is a very busy first round for the two boxers. This is what the fans back home who can't be here at the Indoor sports all of the mobile at the Sports Center. I've been looking. Oh, really? Fuck that. Oh, believe this is the best round only. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and this is what the fans want to see. Right! A lot of needs to watch it. He's throwing Bruh. a whole lot of punches. He's not making them count. But he needs that. Uh, Start 
the take a look at the highlight. Highlight view the first round of Jose. Habib, Ige, or Ladeji. No breathing space for his opponent. Well, Not that his opponent from start to finish. Absolutely, I'm pretty sure the tonic star never expected. He never expected it. Oh, no. That word, that uh, Nigerian connotation. He never expected it. Yes. <laughs> That was a very energetic performance. See him staggering to the ropes there. Exactly. Good there. Great performance from Oladeji. Uh, we'll see if he can sustain that Go. performance of the first round. Yeah, Oladeji needs to watch out. This is just first of ten rounds coming. Uh, the man is very energetic. I uh, hope he continues to sustain uh, that energy. You know what they say about very energetic boxers? They never seem to be able to go the distance. Was taken up. I Many remember. people thought he won the fight. Yeah, yeah a lot of people thought he won the fight. Yeah, that's yeah. the man. Sense, definitely a man who's very intelligent. In fact, I don't think I should call him a man. Yeah. You yes. remember, he went yeah. this way with Yeah, sense. he went this way with Sense, and that's why a lot of people felt. From start to finish. Yeah, obviously he threw more punches than Sense, so a lot of people felt he actually I did win the fight. But there's a big thing sometimes when you. That was one, a, yeah, that was two, a, was a three, four, five, six. Seven, he was because he was shaking his head. This is where I would expect a turning star to pounce on this. Okay, so what are we looking at here? He might have had a cut. He might have had a cut. This is where you would expect. This is where you would expect a turning star to take advantage of the situation here. Okay. Let's see what happened there. Oh yeah, he definitely had a uh, punch to the temple. Uh, but it looked like it, it, from it other angle, yes. That, oh. uh, look at that, and that there you have the punch. But it did look like it. Yeah, but it, it, it wasn't really but so a push to. Yeah, push a push to it as well. But a knockdown given. It comes up. Full throttle once again. You know, I like this young man, and uh, I will see him grow. He needs to train his punches. That's what he needs to do. So he's got a ferocious combination, but he needs to train those punches. He needs a, a good trainer to control him, really. Yeah. You know, um, to get him to be precise with his punches and not lunging. Did you see him get caught again there with a fantastic uh, right hook there coming from uh, uh, Turning Star, who is obviously the more cultured fighter here, but unfortunately, uh, this man called EK, boundless energy, not giving his opponent any chance at all. And there you have it. What happened there? EK, the turning star should have capitalized on that uh, position there. Um, Ralph, I've just been corrected now. EK is not actually the nickname, it's actually EK, which is. Uh, I've been calling it. Oh, you can correct it. <laughs> I feel ashamed. I feel ashamed because I'm, I'm actually from uh, that part of the country where <laughs> that language holds. I had it already. So, the so Ralph. Of are from a winger. Oh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good counter punch from Lord JD. You, you can see now the energy, you know, fizzling out of that man, Ige. And uh, this is exactly what Lord JD needs to do. Oh, and that will not count, absolutely. Like I said earlier, he is the more cultured fighter. I think he needs to go a lot to the body, and to that body, and, you know, head combination as well. I think there's already a cut to the lips of um, Miguel. As a young man, I would really like to see develop in his boxing career. I love his energy. But to the turning star, it around. Let's take a look at smoke play. 
highlights of that are fresh one. You get there, that launch, and then seems to be withdrawn. That's almost a push down for the referee. Give it as a knockdown. I think I'd give that round to Olojede there, there uh, scoring some big punches in play. Stop! But I just hope that uh, Ike can actually calm down a bit, you know, direct his energy properly and score the punches because some, so many times where you, where you keep swinging wildly, look at him there, he got his opponent there with a right hook. You could see Ike, um, a lot, a lot of the turning stuff. And Ike just uh, ran into that and left. And that's what he's going to keep doing because he's got a cut leap already. And that, it, as soon as turning star notices that, he starts exploiting it. That's a big point for turning star again. Going to the side of the head of Ike. And you have turning star and he seems to be listening to his corner right now. You saw the way he danced out of that corner there. That's exactly what he needs to do. I think he's got a strategy which is to try and wear down his opponent before the end of the round and then come up much later in the round. Bro! But he gave last fought in February 2019 when he beat uh, George Mensa at fighting Accra. He's been fighting a couple of uh, fights in Accra, Ghana. And of course, he made his debut right here at Rope Park. That was uh, in 2018, talking about uh, Tunde, Turning Star, Lojede. Uh, that was a fight against uh, Kazim Oliwo. Uh, we saw Kazim earlier tonight. And uh, Lojede made his debut against Oliwo and he won unanimous decision. It does look like he is a man who loves to go the distance. And uh, sometimes when you face very explosive boxes, and that's, there you have him again staying in that corner. And that's not the very good thing to, for him to do. Unfortunately, Ige. His punches are not well trained and he's not picking them right. I mean, he should score a whole lot of body punches right there in the corner. And uh, you see, you see once again Olojede coming out. Left hook counter punch from uh, Ige. Coming. man is enduring some pains uh, out of his lips. Absolutely. I expected to see a lot more concentration of punches coming from uh, the turning star there, but. He's not unleashing them on his opponent. That, that catches him. It's a left, uh, right hook there. Too many clashing of heads. I don't know what that complaint was about, but he comes back strong talking about uh, Ike. He was caught with a very good punch to the side of the head. What was he complaining about? That wasn't a slap. Trying to do a rope a dope there or what? I don't understand. At the end of the round, once again.
think every time that um, Tunde Tonista or Lodjadet needs a rest, it just goes to one corner and then it puts up a good guard. I, I notice that every time he, he goes into the corner for the break, he keeps nodding to his uh, 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 corner man, uh, trying to, so to speak, like he knows what he's doing, but he could get caught up in this. I, I, I for one, think that he, he knows it's a 10-round contest and he knows that there's no reason for him to quickly, uh, you know, dish out his energy. Okay, he's, had, he's got a, a little caught now to the side of his eyes too. Oh, that's a good right from uh, Ige. Ige going forward now. Sets up at this hook. Oh, Florio punches there. Not quite uh, as solid as it should be. And then uh, it does look like there is a caught to the head of uh, Tony Star, and this could change the whole complexion of the fight entirely. And don't forget, it was uh, to the lips of uh, Ige that he's got a good punch there, good right hook there coming from uh, the Tony Star. But now, like I said, that cut in the head could change the whole thing, that complexion of the fight right now. The young man is not showing any kind of respect to his um, opponent, uh, Lodge De, a young man of like Digit. He's not even 20 yet, and he's putting up a good fight here. Just the way he put up a good fight against Sens in his debut. You could, you could see the youthful exuberance there. He's ready to fight. He's not even ready to protect himself. Just wants to have a throw at his opponent. Uh, I think I need to follow this man's growth in water boxing. Oh, that's a good one from Ige. He put himself with a combination of left and right. Tony Star is not doing it himself any world of good in this fight. Ige okay, is actually the one who keeps putting right. him down across the ring, but he is tired right now. Right. If, if Tony Star's strategy Stop. Stop. is to actually wear out his opponent, he's not doing it, and there you have it. There's a timeout. He's actually going to the wrong that corner. And that's, that's what we're talking about. You need to look at that cut. That's what the referee is taking him to the ringside doctor for. And he could lose this fight because of the cut. He absolutely could lose the fight, and that's exactly what we've been talking about. He's allowed the other less experienced fighter to be all over his face, not giving him any breathing space. And if the, we could see what we saw earlier in one of the earlier rounds, earlier bouts, and you could see the face of the uh, ringside doctor there, not looking good. If that cut proves to be a bit too much for him to handle, this fight could be stopped. I think that's a slight cut. Doctors so will certify him fit to continue. Uh, Doctor Lukwe. He might be lucky yeah. enough because the ramp looks like he might be ending pretty soon. So if he's able to move away from that, but you can see the look on his face. Huh? Very happy about that cut. He needs to do something about it. I don't think anybody will be happy with a cut. Absolutely. Remember how Mike Tyson reacted when he got a cut while fighting uh, Holyfield. Another round. This is the penultimate fight of the night. Okay, we'll see how the main event of the night. A rematch between Lion Uye and the real one of Ladu Sutukam. Fourth round gone by in this fight, and the highlights of the fourth round there for you. That was a good uppercut there. I couldn't believe that Tony Starr left his uh, uh, face as a target there. This man has got energy. You can see his lips is uh, definitely swollen up uh, because of that cut he had earlier. But nobody would have expected him to be able to ride this. We uh, would have expected the more experienced Tony Stark to take advantage of this situation. The energy of this young man, you know, so energetic in his performance. I mean, when you're a teenager, you should expect that kind of energy. Mm. But see, the referee had to send him back again. We're just halfway gone into the 10 round national title contest. Once again, this is not the best posture for this man. We're talking about two big turnings now. I mean, that's too much combination there, even though they're not connected, but it's a flurry of, of uh, punches there. And uh, most of them pity part. But he needs to use the jabs, talking about T Pain uh, today, a turning star. Good, good, good combination there. Dull moment when you watch a Ladiji fight. Good, good job there. Combination left to right combination. But Ike is not just letting off at all. 
you know, Ige, he just gets uh, his opponent uh, tired out. Uh, he must have praised the energy of uh, Logia Day in this fight also because uh, some opponents would have just uh, uh, given up. Yeah, because he's just relentless. He's absolutely relentless. And one man possesses so, uh, so much energy. Yeah, that's that's exactly what we expect for Logia Day to now work on. He, his his um, footwork should be better. His leg movement should be absolutely yes. better. He needs to start exploiting the opportunity of body shots rather than just trying to target Box. the face. seems to be uh you know coming down but our lodger they needs to exploit that opportunity whenever he sees you know he get you know taking it back foot. Uh, and he's giving him the opportunity to come around again and look at the young man drenched in his own sweat already in the fifth round Swing there from an eagle and a Good combination there, left, right. Another counter punch there, but EK catches him. Nice camera shot there. I don't think the corner of uh, the more experienced fighter, Tony Star, doing enough in this fight. They need to constantly keep talking to them. Oh, to the back of the counter one from uh, TP also. Uh, but it was the first uh, set there by Habibi Gail Ladeji. Young man, uh, you won't believe it, uh, just uh, making his second appearance in the world of professional boxing. And the first he lost to Bayami at Dayami, uh, that 18 uh, year old. And that fight was in August 2019. Yours sincerely was in the bottom. I near for that one. Yeah, yeah, we were there. Fight. Ancient city of Ibada, and of course that fight, uh, that night, the fight night was graced by the uh, uh, Royal Majesty of the Mabi Allah for your uh, an ex amateur boxer himself. He still fights. Uh, uh, Sixth round of the Shadow 10 National Phantom Way title at stake. Big at the moment. Somebody's gonna go home with it tonight. Between our Light DJ and the Lodger Day. Lodger Day with three fights, one loss, three wins, one loss. Two coming by way of knockouts. The man is going to our next national title for this young man. It's the one that is standing between him and the national title. And I'm liking this young man, seeing him fight in his second professional fight. Bah! Sixth round of Shadow 10. Hello. Really got to give kudos to uh, that man that we're talking about. Uh, he wants to finish up the fight right now. And, uh, unfortunately for him, oh, gets caught in the process there. Oh, another one there coming from Olojade, who's picking his opponent off those uh, flurry of uh, punches coming from uh, Ige. Stop up! You were, you were almost saying picking his opponent apart. Oh, well, I wouldn't say apart, apart. But I know that some punches connected there once again. And this time around, it's the gloves. And this is uh, some sort of situation that Logic he doesn't really want because he was on the ah. ascendancy there. There's a respite uh, for the man on Light DG. Logic they almost are getting caught. Oh, beautiful point combination there. It does look like uh, Logic is working on the body right now. We all saw this coming anyway. After the halfway mark, we knew that he yeah, would definitely slow down because he's the more explosive fighter. And you can see that the glory are not coming uh, the way they came in the first half of the fight.
jabs coming in from uh, Lodgeri there. I think it would have been nice if, if the corner had told him to slow down and pick your points, uh, pick your punches, run long. That's fucking for him to get angry right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's obvious the time is better now. There's no rushing anymore. Yeah. But it's not causing a whole lot of uh, trouble for his opponent. It's allowing his opponent to actually pick his uh, punches better. That's, it. That's the way Ola Jedi wants to fight. That's why all, so, all of a sudden Ola Jedi seems to be the aggressor in the fight. So Ola Jedi polishing that body once again. Another good body punch there. Seventh round of the Shadow 10 National Bantam Way title at stake in this one. Okay, actually the um, yeah the tooth guard is out. 
So the referee, group. And of course, uh, that gives a lot of the opportunity. They need to do something about the tape for those clubs. Uh, probably slowly making it not as uh, effective as it should be. They should get another team. Not try to uh, use that one that's, that's looking exhausted already. But every time this happens, that man in your screen there, talking about Oladiji Ike, is getting a whole lot of time to rest and come back explosively once again. So that's something that the, 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 the corner of Oladiji really need to look at. But Except for occasional counter punching from the lodger there. But have you seen uh, have you seen how many of the punches connect? That's where I'm coming from. Because this fight could just turn out to be another Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao fight, where Pacquiao threw a whole lot of the punches, but Mayweather was the one who scored the points. So far, uh, so far I'll be giving it to uh, to Ola Deji for me. Okay, I'm going to see. I think I'm I'm swinging the way of uh, uh, turning stuff. Good uppercut there coming from Ola Deji. 
you see there another another combination left right combination astonished as to how these guys managed to have the legs. They get connected with a right hook there. Another left to right combination there. The young man has been picking a couple of rounds. Still early days in this one though. Big punch there, right. Fantastic right shot there coming from uh, right. again. Buck. And he's coming back again. Very relentless boxer. there right uh, connecting at the end of it all and uh, the strategy right. being employed by Ike is actually working you know he throws the punches if he can't land them he right. leans on his opponent so that his opponent doesn't even have the chance to counter punch a good one there docks connects the right and another one again connects he seems to be taking this round and he's on his way for this one does he have the energy to finish it up? And there you have it. He, he's, he's just leaning on his opponent. He should have taken this out by now, but he doesn't seem to have the energy Ruff. to take it out. Once again, Lord Jedi, I'm not sure whether this is the best fight strategy for him staying in the corner. Break. He's in a very deep pain from that uh, cut to his eyelid. So he's trying to manage the situation. And once uh, you again, can see, you happening. see what I'm talking about. He's in a very serious pain. <laughs> but the round just ends, even as the referee is uh, calling on the ringside doctor to come and take a look at the, the cut that is uh, going deeper and deeper. Yeah, because his opponent is not relenting at all. You know, I said it earlier that he actually gave the opportunity, the impetus back to his opponent. His opponent had a cut lead. He needed to explore that. And he didn't have, he didn't, he didn't have the, 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 the motivation to actually exploit it. You see, uh, on that point, landing almost uh, the same on the cut. Another looping one from 
we see all those cut, all those a good uppercut there, but you know you see all those punches rushing. But what he does is he keeps opening the gash, and then before you know it, there's a whole lot of pain going through the head of that man, uh, turning stuff. It's the final round. Let's see what happens. Uh, we're going to see something dramatic. Uh, it's always a crazy uh, bout when you see the final round producing a knockout. Me already, Oladiji is way far away ahead. I wouldn't say that. Fight. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I think he's going to see how oh, he gets to the judges as scorecard if there is no knockout in this round. He gets caught again. That left uh, jab from Oladiji, who needs to do a lot more. He catches him with another right again. I remember that day in Ibadan, he came with his uh, mother to that fight. <laughs> Absolutely. But uh, the trickery and the cunningness of sense. of sense was just a bit too much for him. I'm surprised Sense is not the one fighting for the national title. Yeah, same, you can say the same again from, the, from my point of view. I mean, that man deserves to be a champion. I mean, ever since his debut on Go TV Boxing Night, he showed the stuff that he's made of. Product of the next gen search. But this young man, I'll take, I'll take nothing away from him. The young man has been absolutely solid tonight. Came out with an unbelievable energy, and he has kept it that way. I received some uh, punches uh, from a wide swing there coming from Olajide. Olajide. He's trying to protect that cut and uh, feeling that he has a chance if he can actually ride the storm and uh, finish the 10 round contest. Once again, clinch coming from uh, fighters who are clearly tired but deserve the kudos Bruh. for uh, at least this is the only fight so far in seven that has gone the whole distance. Now this, we're down to the last minute of this uh, fight. Bruh. 10 rounds see? of boxing. Can we see anything dramatic? Uh, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think I've not seen fighters. any energy that can um, produce uh, any soccer punch or even any knockout in this one. But this young man goes uh, into his opponent with one two. My my problem with uh, Oladiji is he throws the one two and then he just goes in and just like lays into his opponent. You need to stand up. Catches him with an uppercut, but he misses himself and he gets himself he in trouble. There. But a lot of the a doesn't seem to have the energy to take it's coming to finish in it off. into this uh, bout into this uh, rain uh, round rider. I do believe that uh, and then you see that blood streaming down once again. So the bell should go now for the end of the bout. Lajadi fagged out. He had to use all the experience in his armory uh, to fend off this man. But is it going to be good enough for him to win the national title? He gets caught again there. Look like we're having injury time in this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and there you Finally, the bell goes for the end of the bout. Look nearer. I'll give this bout to that young man. And I'll give this bout to Aladdin. We'll see how it goes. I said a lot of lot of rather I turn how, is, how the judges will score this one. I think it's gonna be a close one, absolutely. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I agree with you that uh, uh, the young man talking about uh Ike has thrown quite a lot of more He won more rounds for me and that's what gives him the fight. Yeah, but, but are we gonna judge it based on the number of punches thrown? It's the rounds he win, you win, and the fight that gives you okay. the fight. Where to see because there was no knockdown by any of the boxers, uh, not at all. But uh, uh, there was a yeah, one, one, there was a count for, for oh, against the uh, okay. okay. So we'll see how things go. We'll see how that one probably might go 10 8. Yeah, you know, for Logic. But apart from that, uh, this young man would have won more uh, rounds. Definitely, that was uh, a good fight for the two boxers. But it caught, and you can see. Yeah, it looks like a lot of they somehow uh, might have been. <laughs> what I looked away. Skeptical. Skeptical, yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to 
Look at him, man. I think I'm, I think I'm going to change my, my opinion. I think he might just uh, be a lot of this game, this one. I think they can't really hit the other side. Yeah, they can't 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 hit the other side in a very difficult position. But the bottom line is, the judge's decision has been made already. Let's get into the ring now for the official decision. Who has won the National Bantamweight title? Let's see and hear from Binga and the Incadi fan. Ladies and gentlemen, George Femi, Baba Femi scores it 93-97. George Abdul Wahab Martins scores it 94 98. George Sheyi George scores it 92 98. Winner by split decision Habib. Oh! The new The new national Bantam weight champion of Nigeria Habib Ige Oladeji. Oh,